What is good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We got another video today. Um, so what we're gonna be working on today is one of the most annoying things that I can say I deal with with this car, and that is brake dust. So if you look at this wheel here, it is absolutely filthy from all the brake dust. Like that is that is crazy. So what we got here is new ceramic brake pads. We're gonna put those on today. But first thing we're gonna do are clean the wheels. So I gotta take off all four wheels and we're gonna get these wheels all cleaned up first. Since I don't ride on the track or anything, I didn't get like some performance brake pads or anything like that. But I did go with these Akibono brake pads, which are ceramic. I read a lot of reviews on these and everything like that. And everybody was saying like, barely any brake dust, anything like that. And that's exactly what I'm going for because I'm tired of all the brake dust on my wheels. So we went with these Akibono brake pads. To start on the driver's side, this is a very, very simple job right here. First thing we need to do, make sure that the wheel is turned. I know that way so we can access the brake pads to get them out. Okay. And what you're gonna need is a small screwdriver and a hammer. And what you're gonna do is this small little pin right here and right there, you gotta knock those little pins out. Once you get these pins like approximately like halfway out or like at least to this little circle right here, you press this little tab right here and then you can pull the pin out. And also with the bottom, it's another pin right there. You just compress it down and then pull the pin out. So now once we get the pins out, you just take this little plate out right here. I believe on this side, this plate is rusted onto this. So I kind of had to like pry it out kind of weird like, but we got out both brake pads. Uh, they still had some life on them, but it was almost time to replace them anyways. On the driver's side, as you can see, it's this little section right there that, that this little plug plugs into, but all you do is just detach it. All right, before we end up putting the new brake pads in, I'm gonna just wipe down the inside a little bit just to clean it slightly. Uh, that way we get rid of all the excess brake dust and all that crazy stuff on the inside. Before I end up putting the new brake pad in, what I need to do is put some brake part lubricant on it. So as you can see, the calipers are pressing in right there. So what we're gonna do is end up putting the lubricant in the same area pretty much on the new brake pads. Before we put this one on, since this is the driver's side, this has to go back onto the brake pad. So the side right here with the bump sticking up, that is the sensor part. And that's how you, it reads whether or not you have brakes left on your car. So you're gonna put this side on this side that where the brakes are. brake pads on this side are fully in. As you can see, you have to knock these pins back in and you can tell that they are all the way back in when they are just barely not flushed. As you can see, the head of it is just barely sticking out right here. And the tray is in correctly with the pin going through right there on both sides. It's also barely not flushed on that side too. And also we have the brake pad sensor in right there clicked in as well. So this side is done, let's move over to the other side and then we'll be done. On the passenger side, you don't have to do the little wire thing that's only a driver's side thing with the brake pad sensor. Uh, so we got the first pad in, this one is all lubed up and we're gonna slip this in there, slide it straight in.
Let's put the pins back in and also put the plate on the outside back in. Then we'll have one more thing to do. All right, so both of the sides are done. Both brake pads are fully on, everything looks good. So let's put the two wheels back on. And then there's one more step we need to do before we're done. All right, so the last two things that we need to do before we're able to drive, um, you want to pump your brakes because if you don't, you will step on the brake and it will go straight to the floor. Floor the brake all the way down a few times just so the brake fluid and everything will flow through because you don't want to be driving for the first time and step on the brake and then it just goes straight to the floor. So make sure you pump your brake like two, three times, maybe more if it still feels like it's not, it hasn't been pumped enough. And last thing that we need to do is you just turn the car on into accessory mode. Once all the clothes clear out, you'll hold this button here and then this will pop up. And then you'll press it and you'll get to this, the front brake pads reset. So what you'll do here is you'll hold it, reset, you'll hold the button one more time and then here it just start resetting in progress. Boom, and then now it's reset. That way the car knows that you put new brake pads on. All right, so if you're still watching, I just wanted to talk about a few things that I got coming up on the car. So first thing that I'm gonna be doing next is painting my brake calipers. So um, I already got the color and everything bought. I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but I could do it today, tomorrow, but I'm not sure yet. So I just I just think that the silver brake calipers look kind of boring and I just need, I want something else on the car that just makes it pop out a little bit more. And I feel like painting the brake calipers make it look better. But I'm not gonna tell y'all the color yet. Just stay tuned, make sure you look out for the next video. The next thing that I wanna do, so if you follow me on Instagram, uh, I posted it a few times on my story, but I was at a car meet and somebody scratched my side skirt right here. Um, I don't know who it was. I don't know when it happened. I just woke up the next day and this mark was here. And then also underneath somewhere, I think it's right there, the wrap got chipped or something. So I'm gonna end up rewrapping this whole side skirt. I'm finally getting rid of the black hood. I don't know, I just feel like I'm just tired of the black hood. So I'm gonna take the black hood off, rewrap the hood orange, and then I'm gonna pull this orange off the top. That way it could be orange, then black, just swap it out. Um, I don't know, I'm just tired of the black hood. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do is wrap the roll cage bars. I don't know if y'all can see them, cause I can't really use it up right here. The bar straight down right there. But I'm gonna wrap that orange as well. Um, I already ordered the wrap, so the wrap is on the way. Uh, so I'm gonna end up rewrapping that maybe next weekend, maybe the weekend after that. But yeah, so the car will be fully orange, no more black hood. And then another change that I will be making is the wheels. I'm finally ordering new wheels this week. I'm so excited about this. So I'll be looking out for the video where I get my new wheels and get them put on and everything. I'm so excited, it's been a long time. I just had life going on and stuff like that, so I couldn't order them when I wanted them, but we will be getting new wheels on the car. Okay, and then another video that I got coming up is I will be going to Gatlinburg for the Slam Enough event in September, I believe, beginning of October. So if you're going to get Slammed Enough, I will be there. So I will be recording, doing content. If you see me out there, say what's up or anything like that, but I will be out there. But yeah, man, that's gonna be it for this video here. If you enjoyed the video, if you thought the video was useful, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. We got a lot of content coming up like I just talked through. But yeah, man, like, I appreciate you if you've made it this far, but that's gonna be it for this video here. Peace out.